Hi, this is Harshit and Andres, and we want to talk to you about MySQL compatibility. We believe that the test provides a valuable illusion for its users. It's the illusion of a single database where, in reality, your data might be spread out across multiple replication clusters. It's the illusion of working directly with MySQL Find 7 when, in reality, you are connected to a Go service. Finally, the test makes it seem like you have a dedicated connection to your database, when in reality, your queries are being sent through a connection pool, and where two queries can end up on different servers. This solution has to work with many different systems. It has to convince your connection libraries that you use to connect directly to your database to send your queries. These libraries often send some preamble and follow-up queries and expect them to answer in very specific ways. It has to work with object, object relational mappers, tools that translate from the objects and structs you're, work, you're working with in your host language to complicated sweet SQL queries that the test has to be able to understand and run. We also want your old code to work with the test, not just the new projects. Forcing our users to have to change old SQL queries is not a good idea if we want happy users. Lastly, we want you to be able to use an application that works well with MySQL and make it scale by placing the tests in front of MySQL. When we started working with this project in last spring, we quickly picked WordPress as the thing that we were aiming to support. Here we are, we have our newly installed MySQL cluster and we have the tests in front of it. And we are configuring WordPress to talk first directly to the backing MySQL cluster. We have installed it. We now are able to um, just write a little blurb in a new blog post about the up and coming Vitesse 8 old release. Here's the blog post published. And we can see here in the status page for VTGate that no queries are coming in. If we now change the connection port, so instead of talking with the backing MySQL, we talk with the test. We go back to the WordPress admin page. Here we can see that queries are starting to trickle in. We can list existing pages. And it seems to work pretty seamlessly. Now I want to talk about what the test does behind the scene to create this illusion. Here I had a, a setup where the top pane shows the queries I'm executing against the test. And in the bottom pane, you can see the queries being received by the VT gate and the queries that VT gate sends to the tablet. Now, if we're dealing with a lot of data, we don't want to see all of it in one go. So we're going to use limits. That's going to show us the data, but if you're showing a lot of data and you want to provide pagination, you want to know what the full number would be. SQL Calc Found Rows does that. It provides the data with the limit, but it returns found rows as if you had run the query without the limit. To implement this, what we had to do was to store this value in the VTGate session. So when we evaluate the found rows, we never send anything to the tablet, which might be an entirely different tablet, so we wouldn't have this information anyway. The last piece of the illusion that I want to show here is user-defined variables. This is something that lives in the session states on MySQL, and because we can't trust which MySQL will end up in, we had to do the same thing. Copy these values into the session state at the VTGate level and provide it to the tablet when necessary, or evaluate directly when we can. Here's an example of us having to send down the information in form of a parameterized query to the tablet.